Corey's going to be my kennel manager and a trainer. Uh, I think he's doing phenomenal. He really is buying in. He's taking um, instruction well. If he goes outside, he takes Penny with him and he's working with her. You know, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. He's setting up situations to work with her in. Walking from the car to the building is a, is a training session for him. So he, he really seems to be taking it seriously and he's asking a lot of questions and it's, he really seems to be enjoying this. Uh, every day I think he says, he goes, I just can't believe I have the opportunity to do this. Father-son relationship and we're gonna butt heads and it can happen, but I think we can get through it. You know, professionalism and we'll do it. Penny, Penny is coming along way better than I ever expected. Last week I was sitting there saying how I just wanted to do basics. Well, we sat there and we did the basics. She's nailing them. She's, she's hitting them better than I ever imagined in this short amount of time. Uh, all the techniques that I'm learning, it's making everything happen faster. And now I'm thinking even more broader spectrum of all the different tricks that I want to teach her now as opposed to where I was last week. Like now, my, my imagination's flowing. I'm going crazy with what I want to do with her. Almost too crazy, because now I just got too much stuff that I want to do after all the stuff that I've seen with her. Last night I was up till two o'clock. I was reading the franchise book that we got access to, updating my Facebook page, opened a YouTube account for the franchise, uh, uploaded the video from last week that the interview we're doing. Also, I listened to some podcasts off the franchise thing last night about, uh, I don't remember, Premier Pet, I think it was, who gets referrals for franchises. I listened to that podcast that Alfredo did, and then there was one with, um, sorry, I don't remember his name, from Syracuse. They did an interview with him about, he came out the gate very strong as a new owner and what can new owners do to succeed, and that was a really great podcast. I think being a part of the Sit Me Sit franchise family, They've got all the tools there if you're willing to look and use them and ask. I mean, there are so many people in this company who do things different ways. Melissa Simple, I listened to her podcast last night about using Facebook. I didn't understand all of it. You know, I was playing with Facebook as I was listening to it. I promise you, I'm gonna be in touch with Melissa for a little more hands-on on how to do those things. There's the resources there if you look for them and you ask for help. Probably one of the nicest shelters I've seen. Huge outdoor area for us to work in. Very clean. Dogs look really good. Some are fearful. So, I mean, it's expected in a shelter, but it's, I gotta tell you, it's, it, it's a really good environment. Nice place to work with them, big areas, lots of distractions for us to use uh, while we're working with them and trying to get their attention. And, and hopefully, our work with them helps them find their forever home quicker. It is loud. You can't even hear yourself. It's so loud. You're walking down aisleways, there's dogs, aggressive dogs, uh, little yippy dogs that are just, well, just nuts on the cages. And you're working a dog right there, so there's plenty of distractions everywhere. Haven't seen any real aggression issues yet. Dogs, a lot of fearful issues with some of the dogs there, um, nervousness, but they're in a strange environment with a lot of noise and chaos. It's very noisy, 50, 60 dogs in a small area. They're all in each to have their own kennel and 
they all want attention and some react to dogs, some react to people as you're on the other side of the fences, but that's what we're working with these dogs for is those reactions and trying to help them through that.